Hello everybody. Good morning to the world and Magana Umaga to the Philippines. I hope you're all having a beautiful day today and I appreciate all the viewers and subscribers that I've had so far. You're all amazing, wonderful people. I appreciate you guys and yeah, continue being a light in this world for everybody. The world needs more of that. Smile more, be happy more, appreciate life more, help your fellow man more, and life will be that much better. So yes, today's topic of discussion will be my honest opinion of the Philippines after five months. I've technically been here four months, but it's about to be five months, so let's say five months. I think that's a significant amount of time to spend in a location to really get to know the area and what it's about and how you feel and to be able to share it with other people such as your, yourself. Uh, I will be back in America uh, one month from today. So basically, I'll be here a total of six months in the Philippines and I'm really glad I spent this amount of time here and I'm very thankful to everybody and all the people that I met so far and just how amazing Philippines truly is. So yeah, since it is five months and my honest, honest opinion of the Philippines after five months, I will discuss five topics, the good, the bad, and the ugly. So the first thing is we'll discuss the weather. Uh, year round it is hot and humid so always be prepared for that. Always have a towel handy if you can to wipe that sweat away. That's very needed in this country and make sure that you're always hydrated with uh, water or too big. So speaking of the weather, uh, hur the hurricane, excuse me, that's America, but the typhoon Igai, and there is another typhoon too that just passed by. So we experienced a lot of rain. It is rainy season. However, the beautiful thing about rainy season is it doesn't rain all the time. I noticed it has rain more in the evening of every day or not every day almost every day but that's still not bad for something they call rainy season so back home in america and california southern california more specific we hardly ever get any rain and this is beautiful everything's green more fresh uh, vegetables and food another thing i like about the rain is uh, it makes the weather a lot cooler and windier. So it's not that hot and humid uh, during this rainy season. And as you know, I've been now in these five months, I've been both in Cavite for about two and a half months and now in Laguna approaching uh, another two and a half months. And both of those cities or places, provinces, are pretty much the same uh, weather wise in my opinion where I live in general Trias and the Dos Marinas Gentry area it seems like it is a little bit more warmer there in my opinion uh, maybe because of all the infrastructure and the buildings and not as many trees in that region of uh, Cavite but here in Laguna, like I said, it is a little cooler because we are surrounded by a lot of mountains. And as you can see, look, Mount McKeeling is right there. So yeah, that's the good and bad about the weather. The good, bad, and ugly about the weather. The second topic of conversation is, since I just showed you Mount McKeeling and discussing about the mountains, is nature. Uh, my time I spent in Cavite, you know, I've been to a lot of amazing and beautiful places in Dong Cavite. I really like that because it is a little higher uh, elevated city. 
and more more uh, specifically one of the places that I spent a few days in was Harrison Indong Cavite and that's closer the reason why is in the mountains it's closer to Tagatai so with the higher elevation the mountains surrounding it makes it cooler there is beautiful views all throughout Cavite I've been to Belite Falls you're close to Nasugbu there's beaches there uh, there's different hiking trails you can hike. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to go there. You have the KB, KB Young Tunnel. Uh, yeah, Tagatai, man. Tagatai is beautiful. It's the beautiful view of Taal Volcano. It's, that's like a million dollar view as you've seen probably in my videos. I'm absolutely stunning and amazing. And many other places that I haven't been that I'm sure are beautiful. Uh, even here now in Laguna super amazing I said it is a city and I am in Calamba City but look we're surrounded by a lot of mountains uh, more specifically I said Mount McKeeling <laughs> it's right in our back door and I do have a video that dropped you'll see uh, is the Tampalit Falls hopefully y'all check that video out and unfortunately I tried to do a jamboree in Mount McKeeling it's like a hiking trail but it's only available on the weekends so unfortunately like I said it's been rainy season so I haven't been able to go up there and hopefully before I leave I get the opportunity to experience that before I head back home to the states and show you all the amazing view i want to see the amazing view i guess you can see the all of laguna and maybe batongas but i know definitely you can see a lot of the laguna area for sure and i would just that's just beautiful i just love everything about nature beautiful also too here as you've seen or not in some of my videos because mount mckeeling is a not, not an active volcano but they do have on the mountain uh, a lot of mud springs so therefore there's a lot of natural hot springs i really love the natural hot springs it's very beneficial to your health your mental and physical health and you know take a swim in some natural water coming from the mountain especially since it rains here quite often in the philippines you know they call it the miracle mountain but that's due to the rain uh, always producing a sufficient amount of water to the mountain to the mud springs so it can supply to the abundance of hot springs that are in more specifically the Ponzo and uh, Los Banos area so if you ever get a chance to come to Laguna you know there's a lot of hot springs and like I said it's good for your health and it's amazing you'll, you'll definitely enjoy it and you'll feel like peace here uh, in Laguna and when I come back unfortunately like I said rainy season we're leaving soon uh, we're planning to retire here next year so when we come back I definitely want to check out a lot of other places in the surrounding provinces of Laguna there's so many amazing things to do hopefully while I'm still here I can go to a few other locations in Laguna but if not definitely when I come back it's very beautiful surrounded by mountains hot springs hiking trails uh, and it's amazing and the beautiful thing about Laguna is just like in Cavite it's probably give or take an hour to two away uh, from Manila so Laguna or yeah Laguna is about like I said, one to two hours southeast of Manila in Cavite area, approximately give or take one to two hours southwest of Manila. So very close proximity. And then you have, even in the area, a lot of amazing beaches in Batangas that you can go to. Most likely I'll be going to those spots and locations when I come back next year, when I have a lot more time and it's not rainy season. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. 
and all all in all in Philippines in general has a lot of amazing uh, beaches to go to a lot of nature everything's green you have fresh fruits vegetables that you can like I said in the last uh, honest opinion after one month video you can just pick right off the tree or the ground simply amazing the nature I love I love the outdoors I love the nature the mountains the beaches I just love being outside and getting this beautiful fresh air and when it's sunny <laughs> the beautiful sunshine especially here in Philippines it's always sunshine uh, so that takes us into the next topic since I did mention uh, the fruit and vegetables is the food like I said in the last video food everywhere you go in Philippines you definitely won't be hungry <laughs> and it's a cheap price and very tasty delicious masa wrap whatever you want to call it or whatever you call delicious in your country uh because it's fresh and like i said because of the rain and the soil coming from the mountain I think philippines is one big was it seven thousand island so one big volcano basically that's what philippines is one big volcano so you have all those natural resources coming naturally from the land and then you add that rain on top of it look the produce is delicious the vegetables are delicious and fresh and you get to consume that and put it inside your body so that helps you with your health as well and then all these restaurants or if you go to someone's house you having fresh food every day comparing to somewhere back home in America not as fresh they inject it with chemicals steroids and you you're not as mentally and physically sharp comparing uh, to somewhere like here where you have that abundance amount of food and yeah so that's food I really and and with food you know people in this country too uh are very giving they'll offer you food they'll give you food they'll cook food for you you know and and it's just amazing and i simply love it and that gets in the next topic of topic number four people and hospitality the people in the hospitality so the filipinos like i said are very hospitable they're willing to give you their shirt off their back if needed you know they'll give you food they'll go out of their way to, to help each other and to please each other and that's just simply amazing and it's beautiful and it's attractive in many different ways you know very humble in what they do and i noticed too in my time that i spent in other places throughout southeast asia and other parts of the world when i was in the military you know a lot of southeast asia and a lot of other places in the world are like that and once you get out of the western civilization you know it just opens your mind to another world and it's beautiful and and i'm i'm very thankful after like i said all this time i finally got to made it to philippines and enjoyed it and uh, i definitely can't wait to retire here you know and spend a lot more time and get to know these people and get to know the language and you know with these videos that i'm creating give back in a way uh, and it's just amazing i really thumbs up salute to all the filipino people you're all amazing and there's definitely a lot of hard-working people in this country especially in this heat and in this weather being hot and humid most of the year you know working construction jobs or jobs outside super hot not getting paid enough of a salary comparing to the western civilization uh working long hours even like at different supermarkets or department stores or jobs in general sometimes working eight nine ten up to 12 hours a day five to six days a week and roughly getting you know depending where they live and which province or area of philippines roughly i would say average five 
to 700 pesos a day. You know, that's not really a lot, but that's the beautiful thing about the Filipino people and, and Asian people in general too is, you know, help each other and they're very big on family and working together. Pakaka isa, diba? But yeah, that's, that's the people. So the last topic is the infrastructure of the Philippines. Uh, it's not the best, but I've seen worse. And you know, the sidewalks, if you're walking on the sidewalk, you know, a lot of holes or driving, a lot of holes in the ground. Uh, often the motorcycle, motorcyclists, the pedestrians walking, and the vehicles all share the same road and you'll hear a lot of beeping and honking all the time from the car that just means you know safety get out of the way be careful comparing to like in america honking they're gonna want to give you the that little finger and possibly cuss you out and chase you with road rage you know not all the time it just happens and uh even in america they have a lot of horrible roads and infrastructure holes in the road and it's horrible uh, <laughs> so with the infrastructure too uh, one thing you gotta watch out for though is pedestrians do not have the right of way back somewhere like in the Western civilization pedestrians always have the right of way here the vehicles and the motorists seem to have the right of way comparing to the pedestrians so be careful when walking the streets and definitely be careful where you're walking because there could be feces on the ground or there could be a hole and you can break your ankle or leg so be careful but yeah that's the five uh honest five topics of my honest opinion of being in philippines after one after five months I'm really looking, I'm not really looking forward to going home uh, next month, one month from today, but it is what it is. I got to do it. I got some things to tie up and probably by the time this video comes out, it'll be a lot more closer to being home. And when I go home, I will definitely show you guys as well, the viewers, the difference between a lot of videos I've made here comparing to life in America in San Diego where I live uh, yeah so stay tuned for that I appreciate y'all for watching my videos watching this video and take care much love and God bless peace